Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on our Mercury Verado 200. Specifically, we're going to take a look at the water pump on this particular unit. Now there's a couple of different kits from Mercury you can use to rebuild this. So let's step over to the table, take a look at those, and then we can get started on this. Mercury offers two different kits for this particular make and model. They have what they call a repair kit for the water pump, which has your impeller, your wear plate, the gaskets, bolts, and then a couple of different O-rings that actually go on the top of the housing. And they include the housing as well. Now the other kit they offer is what they call an impeller repair kit. And of course, it has the impeller, the wear plate, the gaskets, but it does not include the bolts. What it does include are the O-rings for your pickup tube, as well as new gaskets for the fill and drain plugs on the unit. Now which one am I going to need? Well, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm kind of betting it's going to be the impeller replacement kit. But we won't know until we open it up to make sure that housing is okay. Now this shouldn't require anything more than just your basic tools, and I'll call those out as we go along. So let's open up the toolbox and get this little project knocked out. This particular unit actually has an extension on it and all you have to do to lift it off is just break it loose. You don't want to hit it with a regular hammer. If you're going to use one, make sure it's a dead blow like this. You don't have to hit it hard. There. Just pop it loose and then lift it off. There's one of our O-rings right here. That actually looks in pretty good shape. Now all we need to do is just remove these four bolts and then we can pry that housing up. And these are just four 10 millimeter bolts. I'm betting that wasn't sealing up too well. You can't see over on this side, but it's just kind of laying in there. Let's see if we can get it to open up now. Oh yeah. Let's open it up and see what we've got. <laughs> uh, I think there was just a little bit of a debris in this one. Now, if you pulled off your housing and you're missing a few of these veins on the impeller, they don't just disappear. That means that they're somewhere in the cooling system. You need to track them down and then extract them. Otherwise, it's going to overheat. Even though it's going to be pushing water, it may have a blocked passage at that point. So it's really important to account for all the pieces that have been broken off. It was definitely time to replace this wear plate. Got some pretty good grooves cut in it. Now the housing, on the other hand, doesn't look to be that bad. So I believe we're gonna go with the impeller replacement kit because I don't think we need the housing. I think we just need to clean this one up and it'll be good to go. Plus the impeller kit, it has the additional O-rings and seals, whereas uh, this one does not have those. So that's the direction I'm gonna head. Everything is ready to go, so let's put it back together. First gasket, then our wear plate. And then when you're doing this, make sure that that hole lines up with this hole in the gasket. Make sure it's not flipped the wrong direction. Like that. Now our upper gasket, you want it to have this gray surface facing up. In the kit, they actually send you a new pin, and so it doesn't just fall off on you. We're going to put a little bit of grease on the back side to get it to hold in place. That should do. Let's put a little dab of grease on our wear plate so we don't damage our impeller on first startup. And while we've got grease on our fingers, let's go ahead and take our housing and put a light coat on it as well. Now let's grab our impeller and go ahead and get it in place. There we go. Bring our housing down. Now we want to grab our input shaft and turn it clockwise as we're pushing down on the housing. Now don't push it all the way down just yet. Let's go ahead and get our bolt started. That way we can align the gaskets as well as that wear plate. Then we'll push it all the way down. And now let's flush it down. Here. Now, all we need to do is tighten these down. Next, we're going to install this upper seal, and it has a specific height that it has to be installed at, and they actually send you this little tool, if you will, to set it at the correct level. 
And the real trick is you don't want to have any grease on here. It needs to be just dry, which this one is. So let's go ahead and get it in place until this pushes against the housing. And that's it. That simple. Now, if you didn't have that tool for whatever kit you were using, the distance that they want to see in between here and here is 8.9 millimeters, or close as you can get to that. So that's what you would aim for. Now, the last thing we want to take care of before we get ready to reinstall it is to replace a couple of O-rings that are inside this little tube that there's actually in between your water pump housing and the midsection. It has a orange one that actually is going to be facing down toward the water pump. And you can feel a groove in there that you need to get it to ride into. You can do this with a pick tool. Just don't get carried away and rip it. There it goes. That's what you're after. Now, let's get that one at the bottom. Or the top, actually. It's black and it's a little bit harder to see, but it's in there. There we go. Get it to seat in. It's good to go. Last step, let's put a little bit of grease on both of those O-rings so they don't tear when they get installed. Mercury makes it really easy for you to reinstall this. actually has an arrow that says up. So you shouldn't make a mistake putting it back on there. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Now, listen, I have a little bit more work than I'm going to be doing to this particular unit before I install it. But when I do, if you want to see that happen, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? That way you'll be notified when we actually finish up that video and make it live. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. Have any questions or comments? Leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.